episode of an episode of my restaurant where guys last episode they dropped that brand new update which brought out the global market and since last episode uh they've now allowed us to have the ability to sell these chairs and tables the big vip royalty celeb no yeah vip ones aren't they you're not celebrity ones and last night for me it was 3 a.m in the morning they dropped a brand new set of limiteds which one i couldn't believe that they dropped it so soon nobody was expecting that two they sold out so freaking quick, but your boy managed to be able to get some of them, which is you know, pretty damn good. And I want to try and sell them for a little profit right now in the global market. I think this update recently is the is the first update where you don't even care about your restaurant anymore. This has no longer become my restaurant. It's become my trading center. That's what it's now become. That's literally now it's become. So I want to show you guys um, easy ways to try and make a little bit of cash out of this global market. Uh, ways in which you can take advantage of it to try and, again, become rich. And we're going to see how much money I can make from this brand new stuff. Now, if you haven't checked out the stuff, it's completely sold out right now. It went quicker than the first set of stuff. But let me show you what they did bring out. It kind of goes really well with the penthouse theme building right now. So what they bought out is pretty much a whole penthouse line of items we have the penthouse bar store right now now there was three hundred thousands of these a lot more than the previous limited drop completely sold out completely sold out it was only 3.5k so that was pennies uh, we got the corner penthouse counter 100,000 of those that was only 6k so this was so affordable the fact that it came out at such an awkward time meant that not many people were available to buy that stuff and also it was so cheap so a lot of people could have bought it 100k items of that uh, this was the, the only i think it's the only robux one it's the penthouse rope 8,000 of those uh, there was this 2.5k 700,000 chairs like, come on, that's ridiculous right now. And then the table, 300,000 of those, it was 5K. Guys, they were legit so freaking cheap right now. So if you was able to get any of those at those cost prices, congratulations, you're about to make a killing on the marketplace right now. But if you didn't, and uh, ah, then you're going to have to unfortunately buy them from the marketplace. But I'm going to show you a really simple, easy way in which you can take advantage of buying them off the marketplace and then selling them for a profit. Now, before I show you that way, I'm going to show you both ways. Always try and get on there, buy them cheap, sell them on the marketplace. That is obviously the, the easiest way to make sweet cash money moolah. And that is what your boy did. I managed to get quite a few of them. So if I check my furniture right now, and if I go for the, the penthouse stuff, which is just here, I've got, it's a little bit hard to see, I've got 37 penthouse chairs, 45 penthouse tables, uh, 35 penthouse corner counters, uh, 50 bar stools, 248 penthouse counters, there is definitely a lot there. I've already sold a few in the market just to make sure that people were buying them. People are definitely buying them. Trust me, boys. Trust me. And the only thing that I haven't got on, on the furniture, which is in the decor, is the penthouse rope. Now, that was Robux. Uh, so I managed to get nine before they all sold out. Uh, no, I don't want to close my restaurant. Press this button. Um, when I, actually, I I got on, it, was, it, it dropped about 3 a.m. my time. And from when they announced the notification in their discord i was on within 10 minutes okay 10 minutes and right the i think what sold out first was the actual it was the chairs uh the bar stalls sold out pretty quick because how cheap they are and the tables and then the counters followed but they went so quick when i got in 10 minutes after there was literally i remember looking at one of them and i think it was it was the, there was the chair that had seven hundred thousand. It had less than 100,000 remaining, like 10 minutes later. That's how, you know, hyped up everybody is to buy that stuff because you know you can make a ton of cash money moolah. So I'm going to throw a couple on the marketplace right now. And I want to show you, if you're unable to get them, all is not lost. You can still make an absolute fortune. Uh, and, uh, okay, so should we stick a few on right now? I think so, I think so. So, remembering this right, guys, I bought them all at cost price. How low those freaking numbers were right there. So, if I sell them for like 10... If I sold each one for 10,000, nothing there was worth over 10,000. So, I'm instantly going to make a profit. But I don't care about that anyway. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to draw... Actually, let me see the market prices. What's looking at the most expensive right now? 
Um, so we got the deco, the penthouse robe. That one's obviously going to be the most expensive because you have to pay Robux for that one. Uh, but out of the furniture, it's looking like at the minute the corner counter is the mo no, the, just the standard counter, kitchen counter is the most valuable. And I think that's the one where I have the most of. I do, yeah, I have a lot. So if I go to sell it, the recommended price is two hundred thousand. I don't mind. Like I, I literally do not care how much you make off these. So if I legit pull it out fifty thousand, right? Excuse me, can I type it in, please? That might sell pretty quick, right? And I don't mind it too much because you know, I literally, boys, literally paid pennies for it right now. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to sell. But while we do wait for it to sell. We're only going to get 40000 back. I could definitely sell it for 200000 and make tons of cash. I want to show you, if you can't buy the items, how you can buy them and then make a profit. Now, it's a simple trick. Oh, is that sold already? I heard the noise. As if it's sold. Sometimes it takes a while to update. Oh, it refreshes automatically as well. Um, right, marketplace. I want to show you how to do it. So let's go for the cheapest one, which is the bar stool right now. Has it sold? Them noises sometimes, they're sometimes for the restaurant. But it's it's so simple. It's such an easy trick. It's so, it makes you understand it so much, so easy right now. So forget how much the bar stores cost here. If I was to sell one, right, it says that the going price is 84,000, okay? That is the recommended price, probably the average. Let's just call it 84,000. So basically, you need to buy one less than 84,000. Now that just sounds so freaking obvious. It really, really does. But it doesn't mean buying an 80,000 one. No, 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 no. You've got to pay attention. And again, it's so obvious to how many they're selling in their items. So all these on this front page right now, if I refresh it, it's still times one. We need to get them where they're selling multiple. So what we do is we move along. We keep rocking and rolling. And we'll find one where sometimes people are selling 10 or 20 or 50 or something like that. We're now into the millions and we kind of got to find. So there's one with eight for one million. Now, if you break it down, it's a little over, right? A hundred thousand a piece right there. Just a little over. So we've got to keep going. Hopefully we can say, so there we go. There, 120,000. Oh, we just leveled up. 120,000 for those bar stools there for 10 of them. So by buying more, you kind of slightly get a, a better price. And the higher you go up, like this dude's only selling 14. I don't want to do like the quick math on that right now, but it's quite you know, complicated. But you've got to buy multiples. Now, not all the time are you going to see a good deal. Sometimes you're going to see a terrible deal. 20 there for 3 million. Whew. You see what I mean? So when you average it out, but then if the, if the average going rate is 84,000, look at this. The cheapest one is 10,080K. Right, then they're averaging, I'm about to say 100k, they've gone up in price. So you always got to check the averages. So those 10 that we see in that cost, well, what would have cost us individually, if you break it down, 120,000. At the moment, it looks like the average on the first page is 150,000. So you can make a sweet 30,000 profit off 10 of those chairs, which becomes 300,000 when you sell all of them. Now, granted, you, you have to have the money to be able to buy them. But if you do and you miss out on the limited, that's one way how you could take advantage of this global market. So have we sold that storage chair? Yeah, for 40,000. Uh, not chair, sorry, the uh, counter. So let's do it this way then. Let's actually buy something ourselves. And let me refresh. So we're on these bar stools. I don't know if the bar stools are the ones that like are kind of being sold the most. Seeing as we sold the counter and that's such a high price, I think we should kind of go for those. So the average price is 220,000. And when you go to actually buy one, there is none for 220,000, okay? So let's go through this and let's try and find a big bulky deal, right? Let's try and find where someone's trying to sell 10 of them. 10 for 3 million, which means they're 300,000 each. That's actually not too bad. Can I buy it or somebody else got it? I've just bought 10 for 3 million, which works out there were 300,000 each. Now, if I go to sell one, of course, that's the corner pieces. Hold on. Of course, I need to get more than 300,000. But the 300,000 literally starts on the second one. So I can instantly make profit. So if I'm going to go and sell them, and let's pick a penthouse corner, we'll sell one of them. 
And again, we need to make sure that we get more than 300,000. So if I put in straight 350, I'm still not going to get 300,000 because I need to get my, above my profit line. So if I go 380, uh, actually, should I go straight, straight 400,000? It means I'll make 20,000. That's pretty good though, right? It is pretty good. I make a 20,000 and I didn't really do anything. I just bought and then sold it. And you just keep repeating this over and over again. And you just keep trading your way up. And before you uh, before you know it, you're making millions. And you just got to spot those really, really good deals. Now, of course, it might take a little bit of a while. So we've got one. Let's do one versus selling 10. Okay. So 10 would have cost me, again, if you, if you pretend that I'm now selling that whole 10, that cost me 3 million. So if I pull it at, let's say, 4 million, I'll make 200,000 profit after the market cut. And we'll see if we can sell both of those. That is like a really simple and easy way in how you can take advantage of it in both ways. But I don't care about that right now. I want to now try and sell some of my actual items. So let's try and sell a penthouse rope. Before we do, let's just check out the market value. 21 million, but there's nothing really. The first page is at the 30 million. So I think I'll be happy if I can get it for 30 million. <sighs> That's a good shout. That's definitely a good shout. Let's try and sell one for 30 million. We don't know if we're going to be able to or not. But considering I paid Robux with this, so anything is pr pretty much a um, a profit to me at this point because I never paid it with in-game cash. And then what should we sell next? So we shall. So we sell a, like a, a standard chair. Actually, out of the furniture, what is the highest value stuff? The chairs that the table. Okay, the table. Let's sell the table. 125k, the average value. Don't get you know messed up with that. The highest one on the first page, 210. So I might go with a straight 200,000 one. So that penthouse table, let me sell. Uh, 200,000, boom, I get 160,000 back in profit. This is just easy cash money moolah in your boy's pockets right now. Easy freaking cash right now. It really is, it really freaking is. So what do you reckon the next drop is gonna be? What do you reckon they'll eventually bring out? You know it's gonna be more furnitures, but I reckon, right, I reckon the next drop, because it's all been, like counters take well it hasn't been all been counters it's been like it's been like decoration and tables and chairs they're gonna have to bring out next drop some cookers or dishwashers i bet you that's what they do it'll either be that it might be some plants i'm just trying to think because if they bring out another limited set and it's like tables and chairs again that's like mm, it's kind of like a little bit boring then isn't it it's all that kind of stuff uh, but they've got to bring out either some of these which is going to be better than any of these ones right now but they're limited <sighs> they will be so valuable because then they have like an additional benefit into your restaurant that could be interesting that could be like ridiculously interesting with how that's going to go down so let's check and again it's one of those things you have to bide your time you have to wait for that stuff to sell but it will eventually sell it will eventually sell but that's why you gotta always scan the marketplace see what's looking like a good price and uh see what's cracking down right now so 21 million for the penthouse rope um that's the average sale now is there anything where you could buy two now this one is because you have to pay for robux with this you're less likely to see someone selling 10 of these less likely to see that but you might get someone who's selling two and then when you divide that by two there that number not worth it that's not a good deal that's definitely a good deal. If we go to the very last page, someone's selling 50 for 2.5 billion. Oh my God. Per item, it's then worth 50 million. Damn. Even that, I mean, it seems like a good, a good deal, but it's freaking expensive, boys. It's freaking expensive right now. I didn't realize it. When you hover it over it, it kind of does divide it by your finger. So that's pretty good. Nothing sold yet. Nothing sold just yet, but that's okay. That's okay right now. Uh, bar store, then the average is 85k, but the lowest here is 100,000. So if I go to the very last page, because sometimes uh, I don't think YouTube, YT, YouTube talk. Is he talking to me? Fool. Uh, 360 here for, wow, 5.6 billion. And then the item is worth 18 million each. Worth, I mean, you've got to have the billions, obviously. This one over here is worth 5 million each. So if I, that's 100, and look at this, 190, it's worth 1.5 million each. Don't think that, uh, they don't talk until they finish recording. I think that dude's gonna, he, he knows, he knows. So this is gonna, if I bought this right now, it will cost me 1.5 million each per bar stall, which I've just bought. 1.5 million each. Remember that, right, guys? So then I could then go and sell from 1.5 million each 
right? Which was, again, a ridiculous price. Uh, I thought these were a lot higher there, but it's 100K. I kind of got a little bit scammed there, didn't I? I? I didn't do my own market research. You damn folio! You damn folio. I was thinking that they were, they were in their millions already. I was, I'm thinking back to the last limiteds where we were getting like billions. So Nick, you're so foolish right now. I, I'm not even taking my own freaking advice. So let me see if we can find some income sense. For 10 for these, 125,000 each. So you gotta, you, you gotta be careful because just like me there, you can get kind of blindsided and then you pay too much. See, that's kind of okay. 20 over here, 40, hold on. What's 40 give us? 125k, so that's still not too bad. 66, 131, 60, 116. Okay, that's a good deal. Or do we go for this one? No, see, 116 here. You can definitely make a profit off those. 100%, 100%. So we've sold our carrots up there, made a 20,000 profit, which is pretty solid. Now, we have... I'm going to shift all of those uh, tables and chairs right now. So I'm going to hold this down. I'm mean, literally just going to spam it. It would probably be all easier to get your boy's auto-clicker. All right, hold on. My auto-clicker is not set on the right speed. Um, I want it every... Hold on. Auto-clicker, I'm doing this. Leave me alone. Leave me alone right now. Stop it, auto-clicker. There we go. Okay, so will it now work? You ready for this, boys? Yes. Yes, boys. Right, we get it to 200. So myself, I'm going to sell it by 200 right now. And uh, the recommended selling price is 17 million. I think I spent like 500 million buying those, which is ridiculous. But we can probably... Do you know what that dude... I reckon that dude was thinking? Because he was selling so many at once, he thought, I could charge more money because I'm selling more stalls at the, a certain price. So I'm, I'm going to just kind of take the, the funds right now. Should I just sell it for 200 million for a 200 bar stalls? See, that could work out. That's pretty good. Not really worth that much in general anyway. You know, the recommended selling price there. I mean, you probably get 20 million at, at the average price. So 200 million for the luxury of having 200 of them being sold right now is not too bad. Um, right, let's go back into this thing. This is quite fun. You could be here all day right now trying to go through all of this. Let's buy an actual chair. So, Seniac, remember, 100k button price. It says the average is 81, but we could definitely get 100k a, a, a chair right now. So what they're selling at the very end, um, 100 for a billion. That works out for 10 million when they're 100k. 999 right now, which is 650,000. 777. Oh, 71,000 each. I've just bought, boys, I've just literally bought, um, where is it? So many of these chairs. I don't, actually, not, I'm actually not too sure how many I actually bought there. But what I do know is they were 71,000 each. Now, I could sell all of those that I've just purchased for 100,000 and make a 30,000 profit. Times that by how many chairs I've got there. And I can make a ridiculous amount of money. You just need time, patience, a little bit of cash behind you. Granted, obviously, you know, some of this stuff is very, very expensive. But it's not impossible to make money. It's not impossible. Don't set yourselves too high. If you're going to make the price high, add more items to that listing. But don't go for the big profits. Because what last episode when I was making billions, that ain't happening again right now. That is legit not happening again right now. That was just random out of the blue the market has now settled you're only going to make small profits so focus on those small profits than than anything else because you're then more likely to sell and make sweet sweet cash unless it's like a ridiculous item and you can't get it or whatever you know like the eternal statue right now which is actually now 13 billion uh on average it says it says 13 billion average value but the lowest one there is nearly 700 billion. Yo. That is ridiculous right now. That is legit ridiculous. But again, sweet, easy ways to make some sweet cash money, Moolah. Don't get confused. Don't get scammed. Check the average selling price. But the average selling price, what it says, is not what they're currently selling at. Because uh, again, like I said, you could go in here and you could see this chair averaged in out at 87k. Um, which it would average out if we never had a ten thousand dollar one there, which will get that will get bought so quick. 
somebody else bought it right now and then like in the first page it goes up to 150k so ignore that just look what they're actually selling for look up here as well what they're going for as well and there's no chairs there that are 84k there are minimum well there you go minimum 90k so it's a little bit higher but they're a bit higher there's a 75 on there so they do fluctuate but it was a lot of hundred thousands so just keep checking it out boys keep checking it out but i think on that note guys we are gonna end it for here hope you enjoyed this episode if you did smash that like button down below and until next time boys as your boy stands outside his beautiful penthouse i'll see you all soon so good bye, -bye.